are looking for permission to build. That is approval. Following the recent spree of collapsing buildings in Kampala, National Building Review Board, a body mandated by law to monitor building developments, has released a report after a survey from buildings amounting to 5,642 in 11 cities across the country. About buildings that are ongoing, those that are being constructed right now, and then those that have been occupied. For any complete building, it should have had a building permit or approved building plans. Then we looked at engagement of professionals in the whole process. Did you have professionals do the design? Did you have professionals do the, the, the supervision? Shocking results have been released showing that only 22.7% comply with the right standards as per the Building Control Act. This means that over 77% of the buildings in the 11 cities of Uganda are illegal. The overall compliance level Overall, this is for both complete and ongoing, and for all the cities. This is the average. It is 22.7%. According to the report, 19% are active building sites and 25% are completed buildings. 19.5% for active construction sites. Those that are ongoing today, only 19.5% of them are compliant with the Act. Of those that are complete and occupied, we had 25.9%. Among the 11 cities, Hoima tops when it comes to compliance at 30%, whereas Lira City has the buildings that are non-compliant. Kampala City is among the poorly performing cities in terms of compliance. This means a lot of buildings are not following the required regulations. 30.2% for Hoima, while the lowest average level was 11.5% that was registered in Lira City. Uganda has had its fair share of collapsing buildings, many of which KCCA has cited as being non-compliant. The body says they will send reports to the mandated authorities to iron out the issue of non-compliance. The 5,642 properties, we are going to, to have details for each city sent to the respective jurisdiction for them to ensure compliance. This urged the public to report to authorities those believed to be constructing illegal buildings. Adhere to the established building control framework is unshaken. We will continue to provide oversight to the sector. And uh, we urge the public to reach us. Many buildings have collapsed this year. The latest building to collapse was in Kisenyi, a Kampala suburb which claimed six lives. For now, it is a matter of enforcement and regulation, something the relevant authorities should look at. Adams Mayambala, CTV, PM Edition.